Look this way. Someone should carry that. that. Can we first get an experience from him? How has, how has it been? Something very brief before we start moving. Okay. Yes. Smile, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll be back. Thank you. Ah, Thank you so much. Your yes. names? Uh, my name is TCJ Henrik. Mm. Uh, I'm a student at Kawane University. Mm. Uh, first year, uh, second semester. Yeah. So, so we're seeing you with the Ugandan flag celebrating yeah. uh, Mr. Universe, Universe Tourism. Tourism. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, Mr. Universe Tourism is a beauty pageant. Oh, it's an organization yeah. that is now bringing men together from different countries to select a tourism brand ambassador. Yeah, so I got this from there. I was representing Uganda. Um, I was representing Uganda this year mm. uh, in Indonesia. That's where the pageant was taking place. So I managed to get this as Uganda. So we were the only African country. That's why I'm so proud. And hey, I'm celebrating myself. Yeah. You were the only African country, Uganda. Uganda was the only African country. Wow. Yeah. So this is I'm told this is the first uh, men pageant. Uh, it's not the first male pageant I can say, but it's the first for uh, it's the first male pageant in terms of tourism. Yeah. So um, it's, this was the fifth edition and no African country had yeah. ever made it there. So um, Uganda as a country, we are proud. We are proud that we were well represented and we also appeared there. It is a great thing for Uganda, I think. 
how was the experience you can take us through? Uh, the experience was uh, interesting actually. Uh, it was all about learning, it was all about touring different places, learning to get to know different cultures of other people, yeah. learning to know about different religions. Uh, for example, the most interesting part that I came to was their their cultural cultural place. Yeah. It's called the GWK. Uh, that is where the legends about their gods, about their culture originated from. That is where you get to learn in a short story. And I got to learn that their their supreme god is called Wisnu mm. and he's helped by a god called Garuda. So that is their main that is their god. That is what they the, what they believe in and as their culture it's uh, the Balinese culture uh, Balinese culture was also very interesting in a way that those guys literally make sure that you feel the culture in terms of food yeah. in terms of uh, places to stay in terms of their languages in terms of what they do yeah so the experience was all about learning and gaining experience and exposing Uganda as well not forgetting what I had gone there to do that was to talk about Uganda to show them that there is a country in Africa called Uganda that people can visit Uganda yeah in terms of tourism yeah. so uh, which position were you uh, we came in the top eight uh, there was no specific position uh, but we came in the top eight and Uganda as a country being the African the only African country there I think we were the first in Africa so, so yeah we're the first should we send those those are some of the challenges you guys were faced. Um, I wouldn't call them challenges uh, because being the only African country there was actually a privilege, not a challenge. Uh, that is how everyone there looked at it. I mean, I was the only black there. Yeah. I was the only black in the pageant. Uh, that wow. made that made news. That made a lot of uh, noise. Yeah. So I wouldn't call it a challenge. So, please, indeed. <laughs> So you should tell him what you should tell them what is next, what projects or anything like that. Yeah, so um uh, as Mr. University is in Uganda 2024, obviously I have a long journey ahead of me uh, that has just started. Um it's about tourism, I can say. Uh, it's not about my own self pleasure, it's not about anything, but it's about tourism, it's about exposing Uganda. So I'm thinking about a project, I'm thinking about a website that's going to be talking about Uganda as well. Uh, having all its pieces of tourist attractions and i'm thinking about mostly also as a thing that i learned from the bali uh, balinese people uh promoting the ugandan culture making ugandan culture a tourist attraction mm. because we have a lot of tribes i mean we have a lot to showcase in terms of culture so i'm thinking about making that as my project and cultural domestic culture uh being my my main number one project to showcase out there in the whole world uh, we, we have here a problem in Uganda where uh, our fellow youths are now into gymming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, showing their sure, bodies, sure. Uh, dating old women. Sure. What advice uh, uh, do you have for those young fellow men or young generation? Uh, the advice that I have for my fellow young generation that have lost it on the way, I can say we should engage more in things that are going to build our lives. Uh, we are youth. Youth are the strongest pillar in this world. We are able uh, to do anything. We are capable of anything. Instead of doing those other things that are not so much in line, let's focus. Because, uh, I mean, Uganda as, as a country, we have very strong youth. Um, if you can relate, uh, most of the Africans actually were being taken outside there for slave trade, not because of anything, but because of their strength. Yeah. I'm talking about mental strength, I'm talking about physical strength. Yeah. We can do anything except uh, do, uh, engaging ourselves in those other uh, areas, so we can we can find things to do. We can find jobs. We can find uh, we can learn and finish our education, and then we can get into building our lives personally. Because Uganda right now is focusing more on the youth. So if we are into other things, it's not going to give sense to Uganda in the next, I think, like 40 years or something. Mm. Yes. Lastly, uh, we have a, another challenge of uh, youth on social media, yes, using TikTok, abusing people, uh, yeah. promoting Uganda as a bad country, yes, you know. Uh, so what advice do you have uh, to them, those, those on social media? Uh, the the social media, um, you see, when COVID-19 came in, the social media boom. Because there was no other way of communicating, there was no other way of... And some people 
found pleasure in communicating wrongly or negative things about others or trying to use social media for wrong things. But I'm here to advise the people of Uganda at large that social media can be used to do any other thing. You can use social media to boost tourism, you can use social media to educate, you can use social media to teach anything in this world, you can use social media to learn other than engaging in those other things of uh, trying to talk about, uh, talk wrong or negative about your fellows. Yeah. Any special okay. thanks to, uh, to, to the people that have yeah. helped you? I have special thanks to number one uh, Uganda Wildlife Authority. I have special thanks to Ministry of Tourism. Mm. I have special thanks to actually most of the ministries in Uganda mm. for the work they have done to send me out there. I have special thanks, a lot of special thanks for Uganda Airlines and um, the Madam CEO. I thank you so much for everything that you have helped us to do. And not to forget uh, my most interesting and I can say my grandfather in all, in all of this, uh, Mr. Ronin Suvuga, he has, he touched me just a bit. I can imagine if he had touched me for like the whole competition. He touched me just a bit and it changed my life for the better. I mean, Uganda, we are now here as Mr. University Tourism in Uganda. All thanks to Ronnie and I cannot uh, forget to thank Madame Claire, uh, Madame Claire who is my national director. Uh, I cannot forget to thank her. I, I thank her so much and overall everything. I thank the most high. I thank God for the opportunity. I mean who am I? You know a thousands of these people. Thank you.